Today, I'm introduced to circuit emergencies, such as engine failures after takeoff and within the circuit area. It can be a challenge initially to judge the best course of action to take and how to best maneuver the plane without power to arrive at the correct speed and the intended landing area. This is the most fun lesson I've had to date. More importantly, it could save my life one day. Set as required. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right. That's better. So. Okay. So radios check frequency and vol uh, volume. So uh, might as well just get the weather. Humidity seven two percent. Rainfall last ten minutes nil. Wollongong AWS Aerodrome weather. Wind three. Six zero degrees magnetic four knots QNH one zero one five hectopascals temperature one six cloud broken one two thousand feet so one zero one five so we press one of these buttons one zero one one zero one five so we got forty and forty there. Good. Okay, so radios are. And when you're finished, just keep 
Rid of your uh, menu. Yep. That's it. Okay, so radios are good. Frequency 167.3. Uh, I think we're okay to taxi, so... Well done, traffic. Callers are 510 There's an example of that call sign. He's calling himself Gauntlet. Yeah, I had no idea what he just said yeah. there. Did you pick that up? Yeah. Don't know what he's doing or where he is. So anyway, it looks like uh, people have been using 3-4, so the wind's yep. kind of not okay. doing much, but... If you look at the wind suck, what, what do you got? It's favouring 3-4 anyway. Looks like we've got about one or two knots there. Okay, we've got that helicopter on for now, but we'll go and uh, do the run-ups down there and make a taxi call. Okay. All clear. Working. Yep. So, uh, hear the voice, that's the same voice as you hear on the Afro unit. Yep. And it was just announcing that the lights are going to be switching off in 10 minutes. So oh. some, someone's turned the airport lighting on, it runs for 30 minutes, okay. and then 10 minutes before, it gives you that warning. So if you're coming in at night, and you're doing night circuits, you can, you can reactivate the lights rather than have them suddenly switch off when you're on vinyl. Okay. And that windsock there, the primary windsock, the white one, yep. see how it's got lights hanging on top, facing down? Yep. They will be on, and they will now be flashing. Okay. So again, that's a that's a visual uh, reminder. To anyone that's using them will see that start flashing. They know the lights are going to turn off in 10 minutes. Okay. You activate them on the primary frequency, the CTAF frequency, just by giving three one-second uh, transmissions. Okay. You can't see the taxiway lights, uh, lights lit though. No, they don't show up during the daytime. If they're too bright, then at night they're too dazzling. What you'll notice is uh, the Pappy lights would have been on. The approach lights, the pappies for the uh, glide slope light. We might just do the run ups here. Okay, good. Expect fire. Well, I'm kind of going to let fire rolling runway 3 4. For departure to the south, tracking direct, now at 1,500, going on traffic. Alright, pre-takeoff checks, location is uh, suitable, orientation is into the wind, uh, puck brake is on, controls full and free. Uh, correct sense, so yoke left, left other one should be up, right one should be down, right one up, left one should be down, elevator up, elevator down, <coughs> um, instrument panel, SP's okay, we've got 334334, three, four. Uh, we've got f uh, 50 on the altimeter, and about 50 on the altimeter there, as so they cross check well, right altitude. Um, Got the ball just off to the right a little bit on both, and the um, attitude indicator indicating that we're on a bit of a slope. And are we? Uh, Look at your wingtips. Yeah, this one's a little bit yep. lower, so yep, kind of correlates Fraction there. High, lower or higher? Uh, looks I'd like a bit, bit. I'd expect the left to be a bit higher. Yeah. The ball and the artificial horizon is indicating yeah. a slight tilt yeah. to the right. Sorry, yeah, that's probably. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, so starter is off, master is on, charge is, is on, we'll just get it there, but it goes off. Bit a bit of revs. Okay, so we know the radio is working, transponder is on standby, the airspeed uh, is good here, uh, this turn corner is looking good, our timid is good, all the circuit breakers are in, 
Cabin heat shake and carb heat is in. We've got the beacon on, nav we don't need, strobe is on, landing light off we don't need, avionics is on, fuel pump is off for now. Both mags are on, master is on. Okay, let's check the flaps full range. Right, flaps down, indicator down. Flaps up. Indicator up. Fuel is on. Quantity, we've got three quarters of a tank there, and we've got a full tank on the, on the left there. So we've does, got to, does that agree with your electronic runs? Yeah, uh, we're seeing yeah. the same thing. Slightly higher now on the left and the right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, pre takeoff check. Engine run ups. So let's increase this to. We're going traffic in here, Charlie, Sierra, we're now 10 miles to the south inbound on the sent through uh, 4700. We'll be tracking overhead to join a right downwind runway 34 at time uh, 3 year 2. Traffic warm up. North traffic in the warm area, helicopter, possibly Q500, currently operating over the Port Campbell area, and a power line survey at 1000. Traffic warm up. Mag's good. Uh, we'll check the carby heat. We're at 6. 30. Might take it up a bit higher. Yeah, we're starting to respond then, but yeah, take okay. it up, take it up to about 1800. <coughs> we're in a nice, clear bit of uh, yeah. bitumen here. Let that stabilise for a second. 1820. All right, we'll put on the carb heat. Wait for a little bit. Slight, slight drop. Yep, so go back in. 20, 30, 40. Okay. okay. Yep, so the carb ride. heat's good. Um, engine TPs are in the green. The volts are uh, up to 13, so that's good. Um, and now we check the fuel pump on. Fuel pump on. Right, RPM stable. So we'll check the. Yeah, no change in check. operation. Good, we'll come back. Idle, low and stable. Okay. Yep, idle, stable, so we'll get it back up to a smooth idle. Uh, set takeoff configuration. Fuel is check and set, so fuel on, pump is on, we've got plenty of uh, fuel. Flaps will set to takeoff. Oh, flaps to takeoff. Uh, occupants, hatches are closed and locked. You want to just lock that one? Yep. Seat belts on. Yep. Um, and briefing, uh, we're going to be doing circuits 3 4 right hand. Um, trim, we want to set for takeoff, so that's in neutral. Transponder, we will activate to. Altitude. Uh, that should warm up. Okay, I think we're good to go. So we might swing it around and give it a taxi call. And should we just wait and then say we're taxiing three four and crossing zero yeah, eight two six? Turn around first in case there's yeah. somebody there and you're going to change your mind or something. Stock's still the same, we haven't had any wind change. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anyone on 0826. Clear, and clear, yep. Wollongong well, traffic, Chevrolet 5477 is taxing runway 34. We're uh, crossing runway 0826, Wollongong. Well, Chevrolet 5477, good afternoon, India, Charlie, Sierra, we're an IFR Twin Comanche, we're just inbound at the moment. Uh, we'll be for a yeah, visual approach via midfield for right downwind runway 34. Just acknowledge you heard him, so 5477. 5477. So he's doing an IFR approach? Yes, so, yep. Where, where did he say he was coming from again? 
coming from the northwest, wasn't he? So then coming in for a midfield approach. Midfield join. So I think that's a good example of my logic with the taxi calls. If you had given the taxi call when you first started moving, yeah. you you would have been unaware of him and he unaware of you. He would have picked you up when you did the crossing the runway call, because. but if you were somewhere where there was no need to do that, then again, neither of you got the message. So I can't see the point of doing a taxi call when you first start moving. That's, yep. why, that's why I like to wait until you've done your run-ups and you are actually now taxing for departure. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit more gravelly down here, isn't it? Yep, so just gentle with your throttle. Uh, openings to the final. Okay, so check base. Can't see anyone on base, haven't heard anyone base. No one on final. And no one on uh, the runway. Okay, so... Very good to enter. Wollongong traffic, Jabiru 5477's entering runway 34, Wollongong. And give your intentions, we'll do it when we line up, but so you would say lining up runway 34 for circuits. Do you still give a rolling call as no, well? You'd, you'd, no need to, the rolling call really is only if you've been holding for some reason, you're now letting them know you're rolling. If I just say to you, I'm lining up runway 34 for circuits, I don't need to tell okay. you 10 seconds later that, that I'm now rolling. Traffic in here, Charlie Shero, right base for runway 34. There he is. Good timing. Okay. Vitals. Right, vital checks. So fuel. Fuel's on, pump's on, flaps are set to take off. Uh, trim is neutral and wind is pretty calm. Straight down the runway, maybe a little bit off to the right okay. there. Pulling on traffic, Jabiru 5477's rolling, runway 34, four circuits, pulling on. Airspeed's alive. Yep. Looks like good power, good revs. Okay. And speed check. Yep. So about 65. So good. Try and go get it, get above that, and then get the attitude a little higher. Target selected out in front that you're tracking towards, keeping you on the runway centre line. So that wind you had up at Unidera? Yep. Here it is. Lovely. <laughs> uh, this is this one of the best days I've had so far. Just remember the houses. Just oh, okay, so we should delay the, yeah, the yeah, turn. Just, just roll out of your turn a bit and just come around the back of them and then turn again. Oh, a friend a friend of mine who I work with lives down there. Uh, right. He's always uh, talking about the aeroplanes. Uh, yeah, some people don't mind. Some do. We just try and avoid it for noise abatement. Yeah, okay. A uh, quick check behind, see how square you are now, if you squared it up nicely. About a thousand feet. Attitude, pause, power. Have another look at the runway for your spacing. Time to go down with you. Wollongong traffic in here, Charlie Sierra, Leonard, Clue Runway 34. Traffic Wollongong. Probably a little bit wider than 
Yeah, not too bad. You won't, don't want to get any wider than that. From here we can get back to that runway, but in good conditions and only just so slightly right. closer. Brakes testing off. Engine uh, TPs, T's and B's are in the green. Volts are good. Uh, fuel is on. Pump is on. Got plenty of fuel there. Occupants are okay. Runway looks clear for three four, and the uh, windsock looks pretty hasn't, good. Hasn't changed. Okay. See how you just dropped a little bit of height? Yep. Look at your power setting. Power setting was just off a bit, okay. so you're going a bit slower than normal, so that same attitude yep. caused you to just lose height a bit. So let's set up a normal approach, and then we'll we'll start looking at these these angles, these profiles, and, okay. and looking at changing them. And power off, wide arc, flaps down, nose down. All speed. Pulling off traffic, Jabiru 5477 is turning base, runway 34, touch and go, Wollongong. Get the power off. Good, you've lowered the nose to start the descent, so straight away the power comes back, just need to pick up speed. Complete your turn, look at your line, now assess your profile. What do you think about that profile? Uh, I don't know, not pretty good. Bit flat, that's just a little bit flat. If you imagine out the front of you around the corner, that's a slightly yep. flat profile. So we'd like it a bit higher, so what do we do? Stop descending, so we just bring, yeah, stop your descent. You wouldn't want to fly at night on this uh, circuit, would you? No, uh, that's why it's right hand, not left hand circuits. But even this yeah. mountain is, you get pretty close to it. Yeah. Okay, so how's your profile look now? Hasn't really changed much, has it? Echo, the that profile, that looks okay to me. How's that? Okay, yeah, that's good now. So set yourself up for the piano keys. And then I'm going to work the power. So look at that angle, look at that closing angle to the keys. Now what I'm going to do is change your power settings, which is going to cause us to change our glide angle. Yeah. And see if you can see the changes at the moment, because you're just a bit quick there. Now, can you see that angle from here to the keys just closing down a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so let's... Now look at it. And you can see it's starting to go up and we're going to overfly them. Now let's look up at the next set of big blocks. And we take the power away, and you can see that angle closing down. Yep. And then we add some power. And all of a sudden the angle's opening back up again. Okay. So that tells you straight away where, what's happening to that profile you've selected. All right, I'm going to take the power right off and yep. you can continue to land. All right. Okay, we've got Flaps enough. Take off. Yep. Cub it in. Trim. Neutral. Full power. Speed is alive. Well, Cub 65. The caravan enters and rolls runway 34 cross the departure for the North East Longer. Okay, in the event of an engine failure, where would we go from here? Ah, uh, probably just straight there. Helicopter hotel. In that little paddock down there. Oh, off to the left there. Now, yeah, the left is a better option, isn't it? What about now? Doesn't look too good. Probably off there. Still so landed failure. Very poor options in front, aren't they? Probably, obviously, uh, but you want to miss the electricity station, I think. But probably over there. Let's climb. Keep an ear out for that traffic. If you hear the radio traffic, just let me listen so okay, to yeah. monitor it. Okay, we're above 500 feet, so let's turn. And then clean the flaps up. It's already done, but 
I would have turned first just so you're not getting too far away from the runway change you, you know, your order of doing things just to suit the situation. Okay, what options have we got here? Not much out there, but what's that down there? The runway. And what about just to the right here? See the cleared area? Yep. So again, a nice cleared area. Let's come on to downwind. Brakes testing off, engine T's are P's in the green, uh, volts is good, fuel is on, pump is on, quantity is sufficient, uh, occupants are okay, yep. runway is clear, and the wind is uh, still pretty calm out there. Okay, and what's been happening to our heading now? You've got yeah, a chance to check. Straight it up a little bit. Yeah, so with the wings level. Wollongong Lima, November, this is the part of crosswind passing 2700. Check north northeast, climbing flight levels for parachute operations at flying start point, Wollongong. And helicopter Yankee Oscar, go the R44. We're uh, five nautical miles to the southeast, 1000. We're inbound for the We're coming for a straight in approach, runway 26, Wollongong. Jabber 5477 is late downwind, 34, about to turn base. We'll be doing a touch and go. A wide arc, flaps down, nose down a little. Give it good power to maintain speed and altitude. No one joining base. Pulling on traffic, Jabber 5477 is turning. Base runway 34, touch and go Wollongong. Okay, my aircraft, okay. I'll fly the base leg, and so what I want you to do is assess and analyse that that profile. Okay. And then I'm going to make a change deliberately so you can see the changes. The, pro in. the profile to the threshold? The profile then? down to where we want to go at threshold. Okay. So have a look at that and what do you think that looks like now? Uh, I don't know, pretty good. Compare, yeah. compared to last time, we're a little bit, it's a little bit steeper, that's yeah. just about perfect. Okay, so let's deliberately set it up so we get some changes, and then have a look at the profile, and tell me what's happening to it. Obviously uh, flattening off there. It's flattening, yep. yep. So as soon as you see that, you know that we're dropping below it. We're not maintaining that profile now. That's way too flat. So we've, we've lost the right. Okay, yeah. okay, so keep... Go down and go 5477, turning final 3-4, touch again. Again, it's, it's that imaginary line that we're... Yep, so look at the line, and yep. what does it appear to be doing now? Uh, it's higher now, and increasing. The angle is increasing, isn't it? Yep. So we're going above that line. We're not we're not maintaining that profile anymore, are we? Now, what's happening? Well, it's, a, it's a different profile, but is it changing? Uh, it looks like it's, it's yeah, it's flattening again. You reckon? Or are we just sliding down towards those keys? See what's happening? Okay. Now, I like agree with you. Now yeah. it's starting to flatten a little, isn't it? Okay. So we're starting to drop below what we were a minute ago. Yep. Yep, and we're still dropping below, but. Even though we're dropping below that profile, because we were a bit high, you could see that we were just about going to make the keys anyway. Yeah. So just the fact that it's changing doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Yeah. You just have to assess the change. Okay, where's that helicopter gone? All right, he's good. We've got a visual. So, full power. Carby in. Climb speed. Carby heat cold. And your aircraft. My aircraft. Traffic one golf helicopter Yankee Oscar Kick with short final three four brass right full stop. Oh. Yeah, 
ready to catch it. And, and how about all right rudder? Okay. <laughs> okay, you better find your brakes, test them out, and then start to slow us down. Thanks, Ben, for today, mate. Good job. Ah, not a problem at all, mate. Any time. There's someone on final anybody, I'll talk to uh, Andrew no. this week. Just let him know. I'll give him a call. Yeah, no dramas will do. That's the helicopter and he's on 2-6, so we can backtrack. We're still clear. And you can advise him. Pulling on traffic. Chevro 5477 is backtracking. Runway 16, pulling on. Yeah, just uh, ballooned a little bit on that second time. Yeah, but that's all right. But what happened after the second balloon? Oh, we started descending a bit too quick. Quite quickly, didn't you? So, what's that telling you? Just more and more back pressure. But what else is happening? Well, remember, we were talking about it before, that when you balloon, your speed is still washing off. Right. You're still drifting. Uh, the speed's still coming back. Yep. So the first time, well, yeah, just keep backtracking. The first time you're going quite fast. All the way down? Yeah, okay. all the way to the end. Um, when you pull back a little bit much, you balloon quite quite easily. The sec second time, though, when it started to descend, it started dropping a lot quicker. Yeah. You had the stick coming back a lot further. Yeah. And you're almost starting to run out of uh, run out of airspeed. So if any high, you potentially want to go around. Correct. Be ready with the throttle. I mean, the throttle. I was. Flagstaff Point, Wollongong City Beach, Charlie Lima, Victor November, four minutes, two parachute drop from Flagstaff Point. You can expect ten canopies from flight levels, like South Point, Wollongong, City Beach area. When you backtrack, you always want to backtrack the centre line, but it's also good good training for yourself on maintaining that straight line and getting your eye line sorted because you're still looking a bit a bit in towards the centre, yep. which is why you're drifting off to the left still on your on your um, hold off and your flare. It's actually a little bit hard to see what the wind wind windsock is actually doing when it's quite light winds from uh, the downward le downward leg. From where you are, yeah, you yeah. need the right uh, perspective, get it side on. So if you can't tell what it's doing, yeah, you have another look and keep uh, and check on keep final. looking at it from different positions, and then you'll you'll find sometime you get in the right position. You, it's uh, it's a lot easier to read, not very obvious. But if you're looking at it straight on, so the windsock's straight at you or straight away from you, it can be quite difficult to tell what it's doing. Alright, better test your brakes. No, don't, don't wait till you get to the end and put them on and find they don't work. Uh, we probably want to swing around from right to... Good, yep, so you're not turning your back on the circuit as you turn. Do you uh, take off on this loose gravel, or, uh, or best to just... Yeah, this is okay, the loose yeah, stuff's over there on right. the, on the uh, run-up bay. Alright, vital check scan, fuel on, pump is on, flaps are set to take off, and trim. I was fully back, yeah, is that's better. Neutral, and the wind is still pretty calm a little bit from the, uh, coming from the right. <coughs> Wollongong traffic, Chabaroo 5477 is rolling, runway 34, Wollongong. So you got good power, airspeed is alive. Wollongong traffic, Piper Lima Gold Mosca taxiing a runway 34, Wollongong. Just leaving it a little bit too long on that rotate, you can start to bring your nose wheel up a little earlier. Okay. So, 70 knots. So, if you lost power, uh, 
uh, straight Go ahead, or look at our profile, look at the angle. Yeah. We can easily get down into those paddocks on our left. Okay. Because the options out in front are actually quite poor. We've got, we've got cars, buildings and trees, but over there we've got a lot more cleared area. Okay. Flaps up. And now, again, looking at profiles, across to the right, we've got a nice landing strip straight up there into the lake, or even going that downwind one side. Okay. Again, a better option than what's available straight ahead. So really on 3-4 you're really trying to turn to the left or the right by about 90 degrees really at this kind of... Uh Once you have sufficient height, yes. Yeah. Initially we have to go straight ahead. Once we've got enough height, then we've got better options. First on the left and then on the right. Brakes. Engine. Traffic in the flight staff point, Wollongong and City Beach, yeah. early mother can have ever. Has dropped. Engine tested off. Wollongong, City Beach, early. Engine TCP's in the green. All right. Okay. I just ran through that for you. Yep. Yeah. So this time we'll do a glide approach. So we'll okay. close the throttle down towards the end of downwind. Yep. Maintain the attitude. Oh, traffic, helicopter, kilo, Romy, kilo, lining up and rolling runway 34 for an upwind departure to Menangal, Wollongong. What we were talking about before, the, the best glide attitude is very similar to your uh, normal cruise attitude. So just maintain the attitude, a yep. bit of back trip to hold it, and it should settle down to pretty close to your best glide. In the meantime, you're already turning towards your field and then assessing the profile okay. to see whether you're going to make it, whether you need to turn in quicker or not. Okay, so we'll smoothly bring the power off, and you'll see the nose will want to drop. You just So you just hold it up there. Start turning, add a little bit of trim, and then you can start a gentle turn to the right. I'm sure if you lose power though, the, the nose has got to come... No, oh, just yeah. where it is. Yep, good. See, that's maintaining, you're maintaining 70 knots. Now assess the profile. And for the piano keys, we're way too high, aren't yeah. we? What about a bit further down? If you look at, say, halfway down, or where the strips cross over. Uh, yeah, I think we'd, we'd make that as well. Easy, but still high. Yeah. So we can start to put flaps out and, re and bring that profile back down a bit. Flaps down. Probably nose down has to come down a little bit. Flap on traffic chamber of 5477 on a close pace. Runway 34 for a touch and go. Went for runway 34, will I go? 5477, close pace, 34, touch and go, will I go? Still, still a steep profile? Yep. Full flat. Okay, well, this, this glides really well, doesn't it? Yeah, so with full flap we want about 60. What we've got now, that's good. And when you round out, it's going to slow down and then sink quicker than it did before. Start your round out just slightly earlier. Like that. Now start to hold off and see it's still sinking. So just smoothly, continually coming back. Just don't jerk it back. Just keep pulling back gently. That's it. Good. Okay. Flaps. Flaps take off. Carbid in. Trim. Trim is neutral. And go. Full power. Alright, rotate. Up 65. Wink level. No uh, yaw. Yep, options. 
straight ahead. Uh, it's probably off to the left. Oh, you'd probably try and go in that little gap there. Yep, that's your only option. Now you've got enough height to, to complete a turn to the left and go Probably there. to the right there. Not quite yet. See, the yeah. profile's a little okay. bit flat looking. Yep. Now we can make it to the right easily. Right, flaps up. Wollongong, yeah, traffic, Lima, Victor, never the caravan joins downwind runway 34 for a full stop, Wollongong. Wollongong traffic, Papa Lima Golf, Oscar crossing runway 0826, Wollongong. A little bit hard for me to hear the uh, traffic calls. Uh, got this. A bit, too, a bit too soft yeah. or distorted? Hey? Just a bit low in volume. Yeah, a bit low in volume. Yeah, so just turn that up to suit and then I'll turn mine down a bit. Alright. Hong Kong traffic, yeah, Jarrah is 7549, it's actually runway 34 crossing 0826 Wollongong. Wollongong, Lima, Victor November, turn space 34 for a full stop Wollongong. Engine, fuel, occupants and runway. So I've just done the pre-landing yeah. check for us again. So we can have a quick chat. So we'll do the same thing again, but this time we'll reduce the power a little earlier. Okay. A little higher. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. Leave it there. Okay. Better to stay parallel, maintain your height, than start diving up and down to try and get back to your thousand. What's that, sorry? I'll put talk about it later, but if you're a bit too high, stay at that height. Don't start going up and down on downwind. Okay. Okay, so we'll slowly bring the power back. The nose starts to want to drop, so you just hold it up. Put in a little bit of trim to help you. And you've pretty much established the best glide. Now have a look at the profile across to there. Quite steep. Yep. Options, 2.6, we're actually too steep, too we're, steep we're too struggling, six. yeah, so let's continue on for the main runway. Yep. Well, I've got traffic, Jabiru 5477 is turning an early base, runway 34, glide approach, touch and go, well, I've got. Okay, when you know you're going to make it, you can start to run out your flap, so we can go now one stage of flap. It's a definite, okay, two stages. Now we heat on. We've got plenty of runway there, so now he's uh, doing a drastic turn yep. at the last minute. Ah, uh, that's nice. So we want to be at 60 with full flaps. Yep. So we've got another little jabberoo down there. Okay, he's clear so we don't have to do our go-round, we're all good. This time we're going to do a... Well, I'm going to leave November, clear or runway. Well, I'm going to Golf, Oscar, uh, entering and holding, and holding runway 3-4. Well, I'm Good. Just a little bit of braking now, we're just going to take this exit here. Because our engine's got a little bit cold, so I don't want to go again. We'll just uh, taxi back. You better just stay straight. Oh. And then, yeah, then I just thought turn. that was you on the rudder, because I'm like... <laughs> Sometimes when you brake, it'll pull a bit one way or the other. Okay, if you let them know now that you're clear. Wollongong traffic, Jabiru 5477 is clear of ball runway, it's Wollongong. I'll taxi back. You say you'll taxi back? No, no, yeah, you traffic, keep taxi back. We'll taxi back to 3-4 three, four again. 3-4 three, four for a crosswind departure to Bath Twain, climbing to 2000. Full night traffic. Oh, this is a fun lesson. So, 
from the end of downwind, from three quarters away down. We're not going to make any drop at all. Yeah, we're not going to make any drop at all. Yeah, we're not going to make any drop at all. Yeah, we're not going to make any drop at all. Yeah, we're from that end of downwind, from three quarters away downwind, we didn't have any problem getting back to the runway. In fact, you were high every time, which is good. Yep. So we could end up using full flap and come in. Yeah, I still don't think I've quite got that profile because when you say put flaps in, I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but are you saying the um, where you where you're likely to? Yeah, Jabra, 5549 rolls three four circuits point gone. Where your aim point is is pretty much like it is with Everyone almost a power and approach. Yeah, because we, we, don't, we generally don't have much to say. Yeah. Just come to a halt here just for a second. And we've got nobody behind us. We're just going to do a quick make check here before we proceed. No, Carvey heat cold. Your pump's on. Just take it up to about 1700 revs and do a make check. Why is that? Just in case we've lost a magnet or failed a plug, we want to check before we take off again. Just you doing a lot of uh, idle off stuff. Yeah. Good, another one. Off. Yes, back on. And carby heat, just see if you get that rev drop. So 20, 10. 20, 10 hanging there, go back in now. 30, 40. A little bit inconclusive. We're going to be doing a bit more, so just take it a bit higher. Okay, carbon heat on. That's good. Now back in. 70, 80, 90. Okay, good. All right. We'll uh, taxi down to the end of the runway. Wollongong traffic, Piper Lima Golf Oscar is crosswind from runway 34 at passing through you, you 1000 clear, so yep, keep going. and tracking to Bass Point, Wollongong. Okay, now. Wollongong traffic, Chabri 5477 is taxiing 34 crossing 026, Wollongong. And what's your primary oh, method of speed control? Uh, yeah, that's it. 75, 49 and down wind, uh, 3, 4, we go. So you said you're still not sure on the profiles. Yeah. Visualise it, you know, because we're coming in right angles. Yep. So just visualise that path you're going to take and what it would look like as you're coming down onto the ground. Yeah. And think about what that that angle, that profile looks like. You know, whether it's a more normal profile, a bit steep, or a bit low. Okay. And you're obviously you're visualising it as, as starting at, at your aiming point where you want to go. No, there was a guy on downwind. Yep, he's not on base yet. Full gun traffic, yeah, it's over 75, 49, turns the right base, 3, 4, full stop, point go. So the aim point, if you were gliding just straight ahead, the aim point would almost be equivalent to what you're typically doing on a, uh, power, a powered approach because you're not using much anyway. Correct, so that's kind yeah, of, there's yeah, not yeah, much so difference, is there? Well, we've got this little reference mark, it's kind of maybe just almost where that is. Yeah, remember that's like your starting point. The reference is where the horizon normally is, and if you if you put that about where you want to go, that's setting you up on an initial uh, configuration that's working quite well, but then yeah. assess what's happening. Yeah. Are we are we then able to maintain that, sure. that profile, or are we going over it or, or under it? Yeah. Not yet? Ah, oh, yep, he's on final. 
Right, traffic where you're leaving the golf overhead, bass point 2000, we're conducting area work over the See the height he's at? Yeah. Imagine like the angle down to the ground, it's a bit flat isn't he? He's yeah. coming, that's a bit low, he's coming in too low. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, look at that, he stopped dropping, he's yeah. just put some power on. So he's getting too low, but a bit slow to pick it up. Now he's picked it up, now he's starting to descend again. Yeah. Now we can uh, line up now, can we? We can, yep. Wollongong traffic, Chabaroo 5477 is entering and lining up runway 344 circuits, Wollongong. No one else on final, no. And there's an example of the importance of the clear of the runway call. We can't see him because of the dip in the runway. Yep. Okay, yeah, true. Alright, final checks, fuel's on, pumps on, flaps are set to take off. Uh, trim is neutral and wind is coming from our right a little bit. Um, go. Power. Power's good. Airspeed's alive, increasing. Okay, now, about now, just start to try and lighten that nose wheel and see if you can just lift it a little. That's it, now just hold it, then rotate. Okay. Okay, speed's good. Wing's level. Your ring left to right. No, maintaining heading. So if you've got the wings level and we're not, the heading's not changing or we're not yawing, then you must have the plane balanced. Yep. But if it is yawing around a bit, then you haven't got a balance. So get it so it's not yawing, and then if you have a look, you'll find your skid ball sitting nicely in the middle. But you don't want to be chasing the skid ball. Okay. Look out the front and you'll see what the plane's doing. Yep. Yeah, you can start your turn if you like. Not too, yeah, that's it. Nice climbing turn. Why are we minimising the bank in the climbing turn? Oh, because you increase the stall speed? No, our priority is climbing, isn't it? Right. So we want to keep that lift vector as vertical as we can. Traffic on downwind. Now I'm just going to start reducing the power early. I just want to cool that CHT down a little bit before we we reduce the power again. And this time, after we level off, we'll go straight to stage one, one stage of flap, which is more you know, like your normal um, descent profile. Just wait, no, wait till we're, we're starting to slow down so that you can then just assess this attitude and, and, and get this attitude right. Yep. There's power here. What are we doing? The first thing again is... Uh, attitude. Attitude. Turning into the Add runway. a bit of trim. Then have a quick look. What are your options? From I mean, here? Probably go 2.6. Two 2.6, two six, okay. Let's set up an approach for 2.6. So looking at the profile to 2.6, we're high. Yep. So, so straight away we can go... Don't need to... Uh, oh, flaps, yeah. Yep, that's right. You don't want to turn in anymore and you can add, add your first stage probably of flap. Probably full flaps from here. If you're sure you're in, you can go full flap, yep. So again, look at the profile to the keys. Yeah, very, very steep. So that means we're high. Plenty up our sleeve. Wollongong traffic, Jabiru 5477 is turning final runway 26 for a I full mean, stop, Wollongong. You can almost, uh, yeah. You almost want to sleep it too. Okay, you can add a little bit of side slip if you're comfortable. Otherwise, just continue on. Remembering about safer to hit the fence at the other end than the one at this end. Alright, I think that's, we'll be right here I think. 
Yep, too late to worry about side slipping now. Oh, really, uh, fill the extra speed. Level off, uh, hold it off. And it'll, that's it. Wait for it to settle. Keep holding enough, good. Keeping the nose up. Back, 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 back. Just keep coming back, good. Find your brake lever, keep coming back on the stick and just starting to brake. And with just a little bit of light braking, you'd be able to pull up that's three quarters of the way down the strip. Right, so let's just come to a halt then and turn around and backtrack. Feel that extra uh, speed landing not into the wind. Yeah, yeah. have a look at the wind stop. So you didn't have much tail wind, but a couple of knots of tail wind, and your ground speed's a lot higher, isn't it? So yeah. you've got to keep an eye on that airspeed because if you start just looking at ground speed, you'll you'll think you're too fast and you'll be pulling the nose back and back. As it was, you were quite fast because you were high and you were pushing down a bit. Yeah. So you're doing you know, 70 to 75 knots. Now, what am I doing? Now Bruce. Okay. That's taken us up for time, so I'd say let's taxi back and okay. give your brain time to uh, absorb it all. Do I to give a backtracking two six? Yeah, or? backtracking two six. Pulling on traffic, Chevrolet five four seven seven. Backtracking runway two six uh, for the taxiway. Pulling on. No, I probably really want to check three four. Correct. In this case, because it's yeah. That's been the active, active runway. runway. So there's yep. no one on that final. No one on the other way. What's your primary speed control? Throttle there, yeah, not brake. It's just such a tiny... I know. Oh, it's, it's well, gets me. Keep your hand on the throttle and yeah. drive on the throttle and only reach for the brake yeah. lever when you think you need it. Because what happens is you, you have your hand on the brake, you start just pulling the brake on. And yeah. You forget that the throttle might be on. Pulling on traffic, Jabiru 5477, it's clear of all runways, pulling on. Right. Do we carby heat? Carby heat in, flaps up. Yep. So they're probably the most important things to clean up, really. Yeah, but don't be in any hurry to get rid of them. Get off the runway first, concentrate. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is is be distracted with that and not notice another aircraft or a taxi into a runway light or something. Oh, that was a fun lesson. Didn't get to do any normal landings though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's good fun. Lots to think about, really. Yeah, um, but but we still want to. We don't want to overcomplicate things because when when you're under pressure, then and things go wrong, and you haven't practiced a bit, you just your brain will go to mush. If we can keep it simple, what are the simple things? Flying the aircraft and looking at that, looking at that profile. So yeah. whatever the conditions are doing to, if you've got strong headwind, tailwinds, crosswinds, a different aircraft, look at your profile and assess the change in your profile and that will tell you straight away whether you're dropping, going too high, overshooting, undershooting. Yeah. Can we do that? Um, should we take it up to your thing there? No, if you want to do that now, yeah, yeah. we can, we can uh, i got a little bit of time. So what about a, um, I mean you read about a takeoff safety brief. Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Is it yep. a, a good thing to do? do you good thing to do and a good thing to say to yourself. Even your passengers aren't, you don't want to say it necessarily to your passengers. You say it to yourself and run through it. And we'll take the second drive away. Yeah, Second just just yeah. yeah, just pull in here, um, run parallel, so back to the south, but just keep about a metre out from the grass, that way you've got clearance on your wingtip. Good, nice. Alright, brake is on. Uh, so so clean up, clean switch up. off, shut down. That's all good. Uh, all that's in, flaps are up, and 
this control. Switch off. Lance Ponder can go back to standby. Standby. That's it. The uh, hubs. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. You're all right? Yep. 